Pisces and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit and the Archangels into this reading and say thank you for the messages and guidance that we are about to receive so that we can fulfill our soul contracts here on earth. This is a work and career reading for Pisces from the 12th to the 25th of November 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box, so please contact me. I've also put the decks I'm using and links to Amazon and eBay if you want to buy these decks. And please don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series, you might find that interesting. So I'm starting off with a general energy read, and then I will do a general tarot read for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, you have um, some life-changing event that happened recently for you and you're, it caused some sort of loss in your life, uh, financial loss, so you're trying to recover from that. So uh, you need to actually start planning very strategically and ask for some financial advice. Uh, maybe even look it up online, um, ask people around you about um, how you can actually make your money go further. So in the past, you've got a lot of stress and deadlines that you've been facing and you've been working really hard. So there's really a need for some rest uh, and that's due to you. Now you're going to be taking a trip. It might be a holiday. Um, it looks like um, it could be something work related uh, and watch out for some unfo unforeseen expenses. So make sure you're watching your money quite uh, carefully uh, and um, make sure that you um, compensate for any un seen expenses that might come along so make sure you've got a little extra kept aside so uh, you know you're not um, surprised when you have to pay extra for something this these things usually happen when you're taking trips so those are the energies for those two weeks Okay, so I have shuffled this deck. I'm going to draw some cards from it. Okay, so uh, the main card is the Two of Swords. So you have... Uh, something that you need to do and you're uh, holding back on actually doing it because maybe you're too scared to actually do it. Um, there's some decision that you ha have to make and um, you haven't decided yet because it terrifies you. Uh, this man is trying to cross this bridge with a fire on it, a uh, fire under it, so he's scared to cross it and get the sword. So there's something that you need to do, some decision that you need to do, but you are too afraid to actually make that decision to do it and, and you're, you're actually stuck in that particular position. Uh, maybe you want to go for a new job or um, go for a promotion and you're actually just scared to actually get things into, into motion. Um, you're afraid what the outcome might be. So you need to just stand back and be very logical about it. Don't get emotionally involved in it. With the Two of Swords, it always talks about making decisions uh, based on logic rather than emotions. So whatever you, whatever is looming uh, and you know, you're getting very afraid of, you need to put aside your fears and make the decision based on, on logic. And it, al it also calls for you to do a pros and cons list, really, and decide if you don't do it, what the outcome would be, and if you did it, what, what the outcome would be. So you've actually got a decision to be made here. So um, what's going on for you? You've got the Three of Wands crossed by the Queen of Cups. So uh, the Three of Wands showing that there's some kind of traveling, uh, some kind of um, business trip that you might be taking overseas. There's also collaboration, meeting a lot of people over here. Um, there's also messages that are coming in for you, maybe from overseas as well. Uh, but this generally talks about working together with people in order to achieve your goals. So you might be working with a group of people and it involves some travel or it involves overseas communication. 
um, overseas networking. You've got the Queen of Cups crossing it over here. So you're feeling a bit scared about doing things. Um, something is holding you back. Um, you know, uh, the Queen of Cups is also um, somebody that could be supportive of you uh, within the situation that you are in with the Three of Wands. Maybe she's advising you on how to proceed forward. But this... Um, because you are Pisces uh, and the Queen of Cups is your card, it seems like, um, you know, you're a bit scared to do things and it might be causing you to feel very lonely, very isolated, maybe a bit depressed. Um, you, you will be taking some kind of trip um, that, and also working with a lot of people, so you need to get out of this feeling of isolation or depression. The Queen of Cups also talks about... Um, needing to do some extra studying or extra work uh, as far as education goes. So you might be spending a lot of time doing that studying at the moment, maybe to further your career. Maybe you're doing a lot of research as well in order to make this job that you're doing uh, because you're working with a lot of people with this Three of Wands um, and uh, maybe you're, um, you're spending time alone because you need to study or brush up skills. So in the past, you've got the Ace of Cups. You've started some sort of new job and on a new career path. And although, you know, you came out of a period of a lack uh, where there was, um, you know, you, you were very, very skint for money, uh, but now you've, um, you've just started this new job or this new career pathway. And it looks like it, it will be something will be successful in the long run. You've got the sun in the, in the rising sun. Uh, in the distance there. So it's something, it's a journey that you will be taking and this is what you started in the last year on, the, on this new career path and it looks like it will bring you prosperity. So you're learning a lot of skills uh, in this last three months especially and these skills are going to be things that are going to, are going to be opening doors for you and will bring out a lot of prosperity and stability. So you can see this man um, drawing these pentacles on the door and these are the skills that he's learnt and that will open this doorway um, to his career path. Also it will um, mean that you'll be able to overcome obstacles with these new skills that you're learning. So this is probably why you've got the Queen of Cups over here where you're deep into the studying um, and trying to acquire uh, this knowledge as well. So what's in your mind? You've got the Two of Pentacles. You've been uh, trying to juggle two things, two jobs, maybe multitasking. Uh, you've been going through some difficult times as well. There's somebody around you that's there to help you if anything goes wrong. So there is somebody that you can turn to for support, but you're doing it on your own strength and you're, um, you know, you're managing to to keep your head above water because she's, she's pretty much... Uh, managing to balance uh, but it is very difficult the situation that you're facing so you're going through a bit of hard times over there so it's a lot of clouds in that card so you've got the king of cups over here and uh, there's a, somebody that's definitely uh, very supportive this might be some kind of mentor that you have um, maybe it is somebody within your work um, field somebody that you're going and asking for some advice from and they're giving you that guidance um, that you need uh, there's somebody that's very well learned learned um, and um, you know sometimes this indicates a doctor a counselor that kind of person who gives you that emotional support uh, and is not themselves involved in it so somebody that is aloof from the situation but is able to guide you and they have your best interest at heart so this is the person that you are going to be encountering soon and what's happening with you you can see you are in the process of studying you've got the page of wands and this talks about messages and studying as well so you are very much learning uh, on this job uh, right now and um, you know you're getting along with people around you uh, with uh, maybe your, your your tutors or your mentors they are giving you guidance and they are helping you and they're giving you a lot of inspiration and you're enjoying this particular work that you're doing at this moment so you've got the Queen of Swords going on around you. There might be somebody that is really pushing you and trying to manipulate you in your vicinity uh, as the Queen of Swords. You can see she's somebody that is, uh, and she's got a fire dragon, so she comes across as a very harsh kind of a person, um, you know, and she's really, uh, you know, somebody that is not um, that friendly or, or that nice, really, um, somebody that is really pushy. Uh, like I said, she's a very manipulative kind of person, and she almost... Um, maybe box the orders to you maybe um you know uh puts a lot of stress on you so you're dealing with that kind of person around you so what you want is you want a new change you want a, a, a pathway <coughs> a new career pathway that you want to follow 
The judgment card also speaks about making decisions that are really difficult, but these are necessary decisions and you have a decision probably coming up that you will need to make. It's also changing your career path and you wa do want the help. You want some help to actually uh, guide you into making these decisions. So, you know, you want to change your career path. You want to transform yourself into something and you have a very difficult decision to make and that's coming up. But there is help that's going to be around you and that will um, guide you into making those decisions. So you're not alone in it. So going to the future, you've got the Five of Swords, the Emperor, and the Chariot. So with the Five of Swords, you're dealing with people that are, um, you've got um, people that are really opposing you, or there's opposing views. Uh, you know, there might be a lot of vindictive behavior, people being a little bit nasty. Maybe people preventing you from following your career path, preventing you from going the direction you want. Because you can see this dragon's blocking the entrance of this door over here and you're having to defend yourself. Um, these people are causing trouble for you. So whatever they're saying is not very nice and that in itself could cause trouble. And you might be at um, in conflict with somebody at the moment as well. And, you know, you'll seem to be, that person seems to be almost defeating uh, you with whatever words they've got to say. So you watch out for that. Uh, but they also seem to be, whatever they're say, saying seems to be blocking um, you from moving forward. You've got the Emperor card, and this is uh, somebody that you're dealing with who is in a state of authority. Um, there could be something legal as well involved in whatever you're doing, maybe contracts that you're signing, um, you know, and this person is very much in charge um, of the situation that you are in. Um, they might, this might be the boss of the company that you're working for, or it might be some superior that you're working for. Um, they're not the friendliest of people, I have to say. With the emperor, they tend to be a bit, a very authoritative and, um, you know, a bit cold. Um, but they are quite um, just in the sense that they will do things for your benefit, for the, uh, you know, your betterment. They won't uh, stab you in the back, let me put it that way. Uh, so you are also working with people. You're making decisions. Maybe you're presenting something to this person, and you want them to look, um, look at it, and you know. Um, decide or approve this particular idea that you have uh, so you have been presenting something to them um, and uh, you're hoping that uh, you know that idea or whatever you're proposing to them brings some sort of success maybe you also want this person to take charge and control so that they're not uh, causing uh, you know this person that you're dealing with this opposition that you're dealing with um, you know they bring them uh, under control so maybe that is what is going on there as well so you've got the chariot card over here. So here you are, it's also opposing forces. So you are dealing with something or somebody that is causing a lot of conflict in your life. Um, a lot of problems in your life, a lot of oppositions, and it's making things very, very difficult for you to proceed forward. You've got two opposing dragons over there. One has one idea, the other one has another idea. The rest of them are just flying about, which means that, you know, there's a lot of messages and communication going around. A lot of things are being said. Uh, but nobody's actually supporting you. So you're going to have to take control of that situation and remedy it. Um, because it seems like even with the Emperor card is taking some kind of control. So whatever this person is giving you, uh, whatever grief they're giving you, you're going to have to uh, take control of the situation and sort it out. Um, with the chariot talks about um, being determined uh, and um, you know telling people what you believe in and standing up for yourself. And with these opposing forces that you're dealing with, or, or this opposition that you're dealing with, somebody who's actually blocking your progress, you're going to have to just be very cold about it, take control of the situation, uh, you know, appeal to people that can help you. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be you dealing with that situation. So you've got to stand your ground. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot. Let's see what they've got to say. So, you've got the King of Summer, which says, A romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in cultural or creative endeavors. So, you are going to be able to receive some advice from somebody, and um, it is really something that will be um, very beneficial to you. So, the King of Cups uh, and the King of Summer is about the same. You're getting advice and support, emotional advice and support, and allowing you to get your emotions under control so that you're not scared of making decisions. So somebody is there to support you. And you've got the Two of Summer, which says, um, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Uh, a relationship can be healed. So um, it looks like whatever uh, 
problems that you're having with this person is going to sort itself out. It looks like it would, will resolve itself. So you just need to stand up for yourself, stand your ground, and it will resolve itself, whatever problems you're having at the moment with this particular person. Then you've got the Eight of Summer, a desire for a more meaningful life, uh, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. So um, a lot of things, um, you know, are not... If things are not working out for you with the Eight of Summer, it's like the Eight of Cups. You need to actually walk away from uh, things that are not serving you. So if this particular uh, conflict is causing more emotional problems than necessary, you actually may need to just um, move, you know, move away from that kind of... Um, try and have as minimum um, interaction with this person. Avoid them rather than maybe confronting them. Stand up for yourself. But if if the net if it um, is necessary, but uh, you know don't go in there looking for conflict. So you might need to just uh, you know if they've got to say what they've got to say, let them say it. And you know, but at the end of the day, you stand up for what you believe in, and uh, let them get on with things, and you get on with things. Because it seems like you're almost equally matched. You're maybe uh, um, working at the same level. Um, and, uh, you know, they maybe you have one idea, they have one idea, and that is bringing a lot of um, problems, um, you know, opposing ideas and views. So you stand up for whatever you believe in, get the emotional support that you need, and there will be somebody there that helps you. Um, and, you know, if it gets uh, too, too much for you to handle, then, you know, don't engage uh, in something that is going to cause more um, upset for you. Rather walk away from it and fight uh, fight another day, uh, rather. Now, it looks like, you know, if you walk away from it, there is, um, you know, something positive that comes from it. It will have a positive outcome because you've got the, the rising sun here. So, you know, you are trying to make some big decisions about how you're going to move forward. It looks like, you know, you're going to be meeting a lot of people. Uh, you know, you're going to be... Um, you know, moving into a bigger arena than whatever is going on. Whatever uh, problem is going on now seems to be rather small um, or confined to wherever you're working at. So you need to, uh, you know, uh, see the bigger picture, see that, you know, you are going into a phase now. Whatever studying you have is going to bring you some promotions. It's going to bring you uh, that emotional fulfillment that you need. And, um, you know, so just leave this conflict aside and just say that it's just you know, one of those things and actually um, know that whatever work, whatever studying you're doing is going to be the thing that liberates you from this kind of situation. And you do have that decision to make, it seems like, with the Two of Swords. You are trying to make a decision on how to actually handle this situation. Uh, you've even got that Two of Summer, so it's also a decision about this relationship. It can probably be mended, but if it is not possible for you to mend it, then walk away from it. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.